All right, so the Mindbender released a few months back and I gave it very high praise because it's an incredible, slightly understable mid-range that's great for all skill levels. And with the Midnight Prowl now coming out and it's supposedly being a more stable version of an Origin, and that brings up the question, are these different enough to bag both of them or is it more choosing one over the other? Well, it depends. Let's talk about it. Now, these are both fairly new molds. Like the Origin just came out in 2020. It's like a COVID disc, basically. And this is only the second iteration of the Midnight Prowl. But the MD-1 is also a new mold. Like, yes, the MD-1 was around for a long time, but whenever they switched it to the new plastic made in Sweden, is it Sweden? Yeah, made in Sweden. Like a lot of the molds, like of course they had to retool all of them because they didn't own the molds, but for most of them, they were aiming for pretty much direct replacement to the older molds. But with this one, they decided to retool it and make it just a different disc altogether. Like it was aiming after a different flight than the original MD-1 was. So in all intents and purposes, this is a brand new mold this year. Or did the... Did the other ones, the anniversary ones come out last year? I don't remember. Anyways, they're both new molds. And these Meta Series discs, like they have a different plastic to them. And to be honest, it's mostly in looks, I would say. Like it feels maybe a little stiffer, like even in room temperature. Right now it's like 25 degrees outside, so it's definitely, both of them are stiff, but it might be a little bit stiffer than the Origin even in room temperature. And the domes look practically identical. So there's not much difference in feel to these. It's just like a, a shiny pearlescent plastic with a sick stamp in terms of the feel difference of these, which they both feel very different than the Mind Bender. Like that might be one of the biggest reasons why you would stick to the Mind Bender. It has just a safer shape to it, so it's gonna feel more comfortable for a lot more people than the Origin is. The Origin is like, kind of like a meteor type disc or a fuse. It's just a pretty shallow and rounded rim. So if you don't like shallow stuff, then um, the Mindbender might be better for you uh, regardless of flight because it just might not like the feel of the Origin. Speaking of fuse, I have, do have a combo coming in and I will be comparing them to the Origin because I feel like that would be a duel for the ages. So subscribe if you wanna see that. Now the flight, it gets really interesting with this disc because Discmania has said that the Midnight Prowl is supposed to be slightly more overstable or slightly more stable, it's not overstable at all, Origin. And I, maybe, like I, I didn't really notice a huge difference between these two discs. Like when I heard Discmania saying that it was a more overstable version of the Origin, I was like, okay, so it's Mindbender. Like what's gonna be the difference? But it's a very minor difference in terms of stability. Like it's very difficult for me to find a difference between these two, at least the one that I have. This is like slightly domey. It's a little stiff of an origin of a stock one. And we've got these stock ones and the Midnight Prowls at apologiscgolf.com if you're interested. They come out this Wednesday at 10 a.m. Central Time. So whatever time zone you're in adjust accordingly. Google's great for that. But it's only like in a few instances, instances, instances where I really saw a difference. Like when throwing uphill, for example, the stock origin would hold a lot more throwing uphill to hold that turnover when the Midnight Prowl would kind of fade out. And then the mind bender, when you throw that, that even fades out and stalls even more. So generally, like when throwing the mind bender, I was a lot more stable than the origins. You can significantly see it, especially if you don't throw super smooth, then you can definitely tell that the mind bender will kind of help you out a little bit when the origins and the midnight prowl are just like, nope, sorry, you missed. But the crazy thing about the Origins is I found myself throwing them 
overthrowing my target so many times just because they glide so much. It's so effortless when you throw these things. It's crazy. Like, it's very similar to my beloved child, my beat up Rock 3. Now, I would say my beat up Rock 3 is a little bit more torque resistant, and I think that's due to it being a more stable disc that's been beat up. It can just take a little bit more torque, but it has that like glide of the origin and that slow turn that likes to hold that turnover. So like on one of the longer approaches, I liked to throw that origin or this Rock 3 flat or maybe a slight hyzer and it'll pop up and just fade right the whole way. Just hold that turnover the whole way. Now the mind bender, it wouldn't really do that for you. You would have to put more angle on it and force it to go right the entire way. That's the biggest difference. Like they're, they're definitely two separate stabilities. But I mean, when it comes to bagging both of them, I really think it depends on what kind of player you are. Now, there are two different types of players in this game. One who likes to have mold minimalism. So they don't like different molds in their bag. They like to keep as few molds as possible. So think Philo Brathwaite, for example. But then there's also the other camp of people who like to fill their bag with just a ton of different molds, just have a different disc for the different slots, for example. They don't like cycling different discs or finding specific runs that are more overstable, understable, all of that. They like just go to a tried and true mold for each slot, cut it. But if you're one of those people who like to have a different mold for each and every shot, then yes, these can, are both different enough to where you can bag both of them and have different slots for each of them. Cause they're very, like they're both slightly understable, but they're both very different. So the mind bender can handle a lot more power. You can throw it power hyzer and it'll pop up. It might turn a little bit over, but it'll come back for you most every time. The Origin or the Midnight Prowl won't really do that. Like it might come a little bit back at the end, but it's mostly turning over and going to the right when obviously if you're throwing right hand backhand. Then there's the Mold Minimalist, which is the camp that I fall into. Like for example, at the Creator's Cup, I had like 22, 23 discs in my bag maybe, and I only had eight different molds in my bag. So I don't like carrying a bunch of different discs to cover each slot. I like to carry like three or four of one disc and maybe have a few for outliers. And so the Mindbender, for example, is really close to my beat up buzz. And this one is a little bit further away from a buzz. So for me, it's really easy to just like find a straighter buzz or even beat it up a little bit to be like my mind bender slot. And that way I can only, I have like three buzzes in my bag instead of a buzz, a mind bender and midnight prowl and then like something else. Then I can just have my buzzes and then I start my midnight prowl and maybe have one more origin that's a little bit beat up and those that's all my mids. I just have two molds. So if you're one of those people, then I would choose probably just one of these. So maybe have like a more stable option to beat up to a mind bender like I do, like a buzzes and a beat up buzz is very close to this. And then you can have your mind or your midnight prowl, for example, or maybe if you have something more overstable, like if you cycle like overstable rock threes, for example, then it might take a little bit longer for you to get to a mind bender stability. So in that case, you might have your rock threes and then you go mind bender and then you beat up mind benders to get discs like a midnight prowl. So that way you don't have, so that way you only have two molds again. So it's really your style of game, but these are both great options if you're just starting out in the game and if you're a beginner, because these will both fly well for you and fly pretty straight and teach you to throw clean every time. But whenever you learn to throw further and further and you get to like a, a higher rating and you start competing more, then these, you'll, you won't outgrow these molds. They're both very good molds. Like Kyle Klein can crush and he bags these. And then Simon Lazat won four Elite Series, he bags these. So you're not gonna outgrow these. These are both great options for beginners. And again, like probably another great option is a Fuse, which I'm getting soon and I'm gonna to this so and I'll post that right here when it's done but you can pick up a midnight prowl here and I'll see you in the next one